Okay, I'm trying to adjust the ring light so it doesn't like fall off the camera and it's proving very sort of difficult. I think it's on now. My lens is a bit dirty. Here you go, is that sorted? I think it is. What's up y'all? So today I'm doing something I love for a video today. So I decided to do a quick video today where I answer your questions and read your comments because I've not done this in quite a while. So there's like loads of really interesting questions and comments and all those kind of things which I'm going to answer today. So I'm going to answer them today. Anyway, so keeping the intro short, let's get into it shall we? What do you want most in the morning? Morning. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but I prefer cereal in the morning. Like, I just like to eat a good bowl of cereal with the right milks and the right kind of cereal. So, that's my preference of what I'd like in the morning. Can we see those self-love selfies? Post five pictures. Okay, so I post pictures of myself all the time. Not in a conceited way. And if you want more, you can go on my Instagram where I post pictures kind of like all the time. Or whenever I remember to post pictures, because sometimes I'll forget to post pictures so you guys won't see pictures for like maybe a space of like five weeks but you know I still try. Wow I really do look grey. Like what the actual hell? I hate this. I hate the way my camera just like makes my face look grey. Like it does not look appealing. I'm trying to change the lighting. Just anything to like make me not look grey. Okay, I think I've made the grey go away. Also, what's with this hair? Like, this hair looks horrendous. Anyway, next question. How old do you look based on your hands? So, now I don't know how a hand can determine how old you look, but I guess this is my hand, so here we go. Whatever my hand looks like is how old I am. So I guess I'm as old as this hand. And on the back of my hand, as well, so you can see all the veins and all those kind of things. I don't know how a hand can determine how old you look, but I look as old as this hand. So that's your answer. Anyway, next question. Say your name without the first and the last letter. Okay, so my name is Jamie, obviously. And so if you get rid of the J and then get rid of the E, I think it could be called... Amy, you know, because I have the A, then the M, and then the I. So I think my name would just be called Amy or Amy, which to be fair doesn't sound too bad because Amy, obviously. At what age did you get your first phone? Okay, well, I technically got my first phone when I was like eight or nine because I had like a Blackberry phone. This was like 12 or 11 years ago, and back then, the Blackberry phones were to die for, like, you were cool and popular and so hip, like, the Blackberries were so good. But then my first, first phone, so my first proper, like, phone, which I used to make calls and texts on, because the Blackberry phone I had, but I had no SIM card, so I couldn't call or text or really do anything with it, so, and the Blackberry phone was just uh, to take pictures on, technically, and play a few games, but the first proper phone that I had, like, a SIM card, and you can call and text and stuff. I got it for my 13th birthday and I remember I loved it so much. Like I remember I just loved getting that phone for my birthday. It was a Microsoft Windows phone if I remember rightly. And I loved it so much. Like I loved that phone so much to the point where I used to really like take good care of it. And every night before bed I used to charge it in the kitchen and leave the charge overnight and then come back in the morning and the phone would be on full power, ready to use for the day. But I had to change it two years later because the phone wasn't really that good like I think they actually discontinued that brand now but I had to change it two years later to a new phone which was a lot more better but the Microsoft phone was good for a 13 year old because I mean I didn't really do much on that phone apart from just watch YouTube videos and do the odd call and text and stuff like that so it was good back in the day but maybe not now. Oh my god I need some water my voice is sounding really cranky. <laughs> How do you write slay in cursive? Okay, so let me get a whiteboard out. Okay, so I think it's kind of like easy because you have the L, then you have the S, and then the A, and the Y, which is so easy to write in cursive. So it shouldn't be that hard to do. So slay. You have to do something like this. Um, and then what do you do for the A? I said it was easy, but it's actually kind of like not. Okay, well this is what I've come up with, that is um, how I write slight and cursive. Okay, so next question. Remove the letters K-A-R-E-N from your name. My name Jamie uses both A and E, so if I wrote Jamie on here, so... Okay, so obviously get rid of the A and the E and then you have Jamie or Jemai. You can still sort of say my name because you're just saying Jamie, which is my name, but in a Birmingham accent, so Jemai, Jemai. God, I am not asking for too much. Just make life better for me. 
fill my heart with happiness and my soul with joy. That is so me. Right, so that's all the questions which I'm going to answer for today. I hope you guys watching this video. If you have, don't forget to like in this video, subscribe to Child do all the things. Don't forget to also subscribe to my vlogging channel as well. I'm vlogging every single day. I shall see you guys whenever I see you, whether that's in the morning or evening or whenever you want to see me. You can go see me on my social media channels, so my Instagram and TikTok. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you guys whenever I see you. Bye!